Hey, good morning. Yes, I had to look further into this Lumi. I showed you the picture yesterday and I was going to leave it at that, but this is quite interesting. So let's go over first the video to see what exactly they were talking about here. Lumi is the Finnish word for snow. And it's also the name of Europe's new supercomputer that will be inaugurated this afternoon in Kajani, Finland. Lumi is the fastest and most energy efficient supercomputer in Europe and number three in the world, both in terms of sustainability and performance. Why is it so energy efficient? Well, because of its location. It's comparably cold in Kajani. Remember, Lumi means snow. The electricity comes from hydropower and the warm water from cooling is used for local heating. With its massive computing capacity, Lumi will do calculations for AI, the fight against cancer, astrophysics or modeling for the Destination Earth project. Lumi is a joint venture of 10 European countries, more than for any other European supercomputer. So it's really a major step, both in terms of the digital and green transitions. And it also looks pretty impressive. If you want to follow the launch today, it's from 2 o'clock Brussels times, and the link is in our daily news. Thank you. And here in Finland, they barely mention this at all. It was in text TV, but maybe I missed it because I haven't been following the news so closely since the summer. So Lume, yes, you heard him say it over and over again. It means snow. Absolutely. So we get that. What does it equal to? Well, you can look at the calculations, 19, 55, and even 33. I'm just pointing it out, just pointing it out. Now, Guyani is located kind of like in the center there of Finland. Hmm. Had me wondering exactly what is in Guyani. Well, I found that there was a doctor named Elias Lundrot. Yeah. Uh, during the 1800s, what happened? There was a typhoid and cholera epidemic. Interesting. I just found it interesting. I was just looking at history. But when we look at Elias Lundrot himself, right, he ended up being in that area and, well, starting literature, of course, but who was he supported by? Um, one of the founding founder members of literature society ah received financial support from the society ah yes of course but maybe this will tell you enough of who this man was yeah there's 12 stars there in the picture on the right um maybe that he has a hidden hand uh, and of, of course a statue in his honor so that should say enough right <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. A picture is worth a thousand words is all I can say. But the fact that this man, you know, who was just talking there at the EU mentions 10, 10 countries. It made me think of the 10 horns, yeah, with the seven heads. But anyway, let's get back into it. When you look at the picture and you go to look at exactly what this is, there's your black and white right? And of course, there's a wolf. We already know who they are. They don't need to show us, right? But anyway, calculations for AI, the fight against cancer, astrophysics, or the modeling of Destination Earth Project? Huh. What is the modeling of Destination Earth Project? Well, let's just take a quick look at this video, but I'm only going to show a couple seconds, but I'll share some pictures. Don't you worry. Watch the rest on your own, and as I always say, don't ever trust anyone, not even me, so please go to watch. Vital for building climate resistance for the whole world. Resilience, yeah, yeah, sure, okay. Destination Earth could be the key to that. A highly accurate model of the Earth empowered by supercomputers, AI cloud computing, and high-speed connectivity networks. Wow. Uh, no thanks, right, is all I can say, but we already understand exactly what this is all about. And they talk about eyes in the sky. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, we understand. And then talking about environmental change and Oh, yes, climate change and everything else. Oh, yes, we know exactly who they are and how they want eyes in the sky, right? Just like China. Yeah, it's all coming to a city near you. I hope you realize that, and I'm sure everyone here already knows all that, so I don't need to go into details about this. So while greatly enhancing our ability to produce climate models, 
with unprecedented detail and reliability. Oh, we know exactly what they're doing. And if you don't understand all of what they're spraying in the skies, I can direct you to Mike Morales, who looks at this quite frequently. I haven't been able to follow him as much lately, but he does excellent work. The effects of climate change can be anticipated by mitigated easier. Yeah, easier because they're the ones who are spraying everything. I I don't need to go into details. You guys know. I don't need to have this channel taken down for things I'm saying. But anyway, Destination Earth, we can analyze the past. Oh, yes. Show us that swirl, the MK Ultra, with Destination Earth. We can monitor the present. Yeah, they want to monitor everything we're doing to the T, to the minute, to the second. I mean, they already do, to a point at least. But they want to also predict the future. Oh my goodness. This is Europe's digital decade. This is Destination Earth. Digital EU, Destine. European Commission. Look, we know exactly who they are, but look at what (laughs) the timeline is for this. A full digital replica of the Earth by 2030. It's not that far away, but please take a look. Add your (laughs) comments below, but they already had this presentation of this not long ago, and look at the dates they chose. The 30th of March, 2022. Wow, it's not only a 6-6, six, six, but also a 9-9, nine, nine, because you're DEI, right? Destination Earth Initiative. We know who they are. We don't need to go over that. And if you don't understand how, yeah, they are showing you, even in all their Facebook pages, how much good they're doing, we know exactly what they're doing and how they're almost doing the opposite and how they're one with all these organizations and how they worship who they worship we understand all that be wise as serpents and innocent as doves understand who the enemy is right now that's all i can say over and over again because so many have been blinded and so many do not understand what is going on even with this whole pandemic but everything done in the dark will be brought to the light i hope you realize this and but God, who is rich in love and mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together in Christ. By grace ye are saved. If you accept Jesus, you understand that. He's our only hope. And he's the one that gives us peace in every moment. So I don't want to be bringing fear to anyone, but to remind you of who to turn to. All right, that's it for today. I just had to share that. Very interesting. Look more into all that and what I shared today. But we'll catch you guys another day. God bless you guys. Enjoy the day.